quite the life, leaping from branch to branch without a care in the world. A man of means, judging by his attire. He looks like a merchant or a junior council member. But right now he's without care, entranced by a tree. There was a squirrel in the tree. Marvelous creature, inquisitive and nut crazed. Give it time. I had to wait for, oh, I don't even know how long to catch a glimpse. You wouldn't happen to know where I live, would you? I am, I am very pleased to meet your acquaintance. And you are? This is more than a lapse, you sense. Something's been done to the man's memories. I... I do not recall this in all honesty. How much are we talking about? I don't have that much on me. Oh, take it! Now be gone, you vulture! I think I should be quite happy living in a tree. Greenery and birdsong all around. Well, I remember I was sad, but in truth, I'm not quite sure what caused it. I'm not even sure I know what sad is anymore. And I came from that building over there. They were very nice to me, seemed very helpful. Although, for the life of me, <laughs> I can't recall what I was doing there in the first place. man's mind is a stream of fragmented thoughts, each brushed away by another before it can take purchase. Marvellous day. Not a care in the world. Moira would have loved this garden. Wait, who's she? Moira? Yes. No. I don't know. I think I remember a face, smiling, uh, young. Then older, then ill, then... No, I don't think so. You must be mistaken, friend. I don't know anyone by that name. There must be, you would think. You know, I can swear there is someone, but their name escapes me. Hells, even their face escapes me. <laughs> A figment of my imagination, perhaps. <laughs> Oh, it will come back to me. Or not. I'm content enough here, in either case. Sure, ghost hunting is for me. 